Hello everyone, today we are going to talk about uterine fibroids. Have you ever had heavy menstruation, chronic back pain, or lost the fetus as a result of repeated miscarriages? Well, this could be a symptom of the presence of uterus fibroids. Uterine fibroids, which may be called leiomyomas or myoma, are muscular tumors that can grow on your uterus. Uterine fibroids are frequently found accidentally during a routine pelvic exam. After watching this video, you will know everything related to uterine fibroids, their causes, symptoms, and how to treat it. So our role today is to answer most of your questions regarding uterine fibroids. Today we have Dr. Lee, who is a leading doctor at Korea University Hospital. He is going to discuss with us everything about uterine fibroids from an experienced medical point of view. Hi, I'm Umay. Before we start, please subscribe to our channel so the next time you'll be updated with our new releases. What are fibroids? It's called fibroids, and it's a lump in the uterus. It is fibroids that grow lumps. What are the types of fibroids? In most cases, fibrous tissue that grows and becomes round is called uterine fibroids. In English, it is also expressed as fibrosis or uterine myoma. Ah, myoma. Or myoma fibroids. But the general public also expresses it as a fibroids a lot. There are some cases where the lump occurs in a round shape. Otherwise, the entire uterus may be enlarged. It is called adenomosis, but both have similar symptoms. You may have heavy flow during menstruation, and you may have severe menstrual cramps. So are there cases where fibroids turn into cancer? Fibroids rarely lead to cervical cancer, so we don't do surgery on fibroids in fear of cancer developing. It is said not to do so, and fibroids do not develop into cancer. However, there is a cancer called sarcoma that has muscles in the uterus, and this cancer is actually a cancer of another species rather than a fibroid. Uh, so what are the, the dangers of fibroids? Fibroids can grow very large. For example, the uterus is usually the size of a fist, but some uterine fibroids grow as large as an adult's head, and others grow so large that they fill the stomach. In some rare cases, it is even the same size as a full-term mother when the patients come to the hospital late. The most important thing is that the symptoms are heavy menstrual flow or severe menstrual pain. If you have a heavy flow, anemia can occur. And as everyone knows, menstrual cramps are very painful. So you will make your way to the hospital. So the symptoms are what you just said. It's it either a very big flow of menstrual flow or pain, pain. extreme pain. Yes. Okay. Uh, how do you test or how do you diagnose fibroids? Fibroids are most often diagnosed by ultrasound in obstetrics and gynecology. When you see an ultrasound, it is easy to see if there is a lump in the uterus, when there are too many or if necessary. An MRI is also taken, but most are diagnosed by ultrasound. When is the treatment really needed? In fact, many women have uterine fibroids, and they are treated when the menstrual pain is too severe or menstrual volume is high. In some cases, symptoms can be controlled lightly with medication, or surgery should be performed to remove them. For example, for a person who needs to become pregnant or a young woman who needs to preserve the uterus, surgery can be performed to remove only the fibroids. For those who have given birth already and no longer need the uterus, or if they have too many fibroids, they will need to have surgery to remove the uterus. So what kind of infertility can be caused by fibroids? The location of the fibroids is important. If the fibroids occur outside the uterus, there are many cases where there is no major obstacle to pregnancy. When you become pregnant, embryo implantation happens in a place called the endometrium. If there is a lump here, it is not possible to conceive. So, uterine fibroids are largely divided into three types. There is a fibroid that occurs outside the uterus, a fibroid that develops inside the uterine muscles, and a fibroid that develops in the endometrium. The fibroids of the endometrium, which I mention at the end, interfere with the pregnancy and cause infertility. So, after complete treatment, does it happen that fibroids come back again? 
problem. Yes, uterine fibroids are known for their cause, but they occur over and over again, and they can reoccur even if they are removed by surgery. That's why it's good to have an ultrasound regularly, even after surgery. So how do you prevent uh, fibroids? In fact, there is no way to prevent fibroids. There are no preventive measures because we do not know exactly what the cause is. Just having your gynecologist take regular ultrasound scans is the only way to discover it early on. Thank you so much, Dr. Lee. Thank you. Today, the doctor explained in details everything related to uterine fibroids, including its complications and how it can be managed. Thank you for joining us once again today at Cloud Hospital TV. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and respond to you as soon as possible.